my turn now. And time to see how the monstrous DC-11 has done. Yes, all our amigas, all our amigas. Becco here from Becco 1987. How are you today? I have literally a straight down the middle 50-50 opinion of this now. I've never really liked them as a machine. They're, a DC-08 is a much better vacuum cleaner, but it is interesting. And that is why I made myself use it for a month. And after using it for a month, I'll, I'll, I'll start with the good. It's not too bad. Once you get over the clunkiness of it, it's all right. I've even been putting it back like this quite a lot. And as a vacuum cleaner, it's fine. It's got, it's a DC-08 in drag, DC-19 as well, I think. So it's got suction, it's got tools. It's been all right, really. If we take these off, this floor head, it's the worst hard floor head I have ever, ever used. Obviously, thank you very much to George from AG123 for sending it to me. Don't get me wrong there. But, oh, it's awful. It's so fiddly. I mean, it's got these pivoting points, but it's still... I've been spoiled by the Miele Parquet Pro head that I used for many years. This is just weird. And also, well, somebody on Instagram told me this. Thank you very much. I've taken out that second row of brushes. Because it basically blocks all the suction that comes out of here. Now the main problem with this head is that you have to, anything big-ish, I mean literally bigger than a grain of rice, you have to pretty much line up with the suction holes for it to go in. If you have it up here, it, it just pushes it around. Although what is good is that there's lots of length and it just goes nicely under the edges of the sofas. So, swings round round about, so we'll be keeping that for something else. Which you won't have seen yet, so I'll shut up. This head doesn't impress me at all. I think it is a little bit warm because it does slow down sometimes on carpets. If you don't keep it moving, it bogs down. It grooms okay, it isn't actually broken, but it happens. It's actually quite nice on half floor. I was using it quite a lot more than this sometimes because it, even with the spinning brushes and what's left of the strip there, it's all right did the job. But yeah, I have no better working ones than these. So there was that. Oh, what else have we got? Well, the short hose has been a big annoyance. And also these bits here, if you crap, if you catch these bits on the edge of the sofa, corner of the table, the whole thing stops and basically falls over if we're dragging it hard enough. So that's the thing. This hasn't been too bad. Although you have to make sure it's locked in. Although Charlie quite likes it because like that, it's the perfect height for him. So he's been doing some vacuuming as well. I really like this part of the hose. I used it for the car actually. If I can remember that I've said this on the screen now will be a picture of Charlie vacuuming out the car with it. And it did all right on that. Although whilst doing that, in fact, no, we'll be using it as a bench vac. I had another collector round for two videos that you'll see soon, uh, ish, two months time. I'm really far ahead. We had to block off the bleed hole of the crevice tool. In fact, I'll try and take that off now. Because, yeah, it's standard. I, I, all the Dyson tools do this, though, so it's, it's not really a thing for... This particular one, the dusting brush is nice and full of fluff now and falls off occasionally. But yeah, they're quite nice, you know, standardy tools, etc. etc. <sighs> Try to take this hose off, but I can't. On to the cyclones, plural. This is the second time I've entered it. On screen now is the first time because, yes, I was sad enough to take a photograph. And as you can see, because of the way it lays down, all the dirt goes up the back rather than the front. So there it looks quite empty. Here it is way over the max fill line. 
as although all that's when I entered the Beko, so it's a little bit clogged up. From the back, I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up, but there is some dirt. Uh, yeah, you can sort of see that now in the reflection. It has let dirt through. And another big thing I found, after cleaning out my car, which I haven't done in a while, lots of fine dirt. When this machine's off, it leaks from this bottom part. It's raining down now, I can see in the light. You probably can't see it. But that was a thing. It's also made two flipping dirt marks there where the dirt hits there first before it goes off. It's a bit of a shame because I want to sell this. In fact, somebody did express an interest. If you're still interested, please let me know because you can have it for a good price. I'll clean it up a little bit, obviously. I haven't checked the filter, apart from seeing on top, and there are a few little fluffy bits on the top of the filter. Ooh, and look, gritty sand. So the filter needs another wash. It's not horrific, but obviously not fantastic either. Ooh. I need to take something off, but I don't actually have. I don't see if I can quickly find a coin or something similar. Uh, maybe this will do. No, a Kirby wheel cap will not do. Uh, didn't do, didn't do. My tools are terrible here at the minute. Really, I don't have a single flathead screwdriver here at all, or even a coin. Blimey. This isn't the service I expect. Hang on. There we go. This pair of scissors did the trick to lift up this bit. Which, as you can see from the aforementioned cyclo leakage, because obviously I put this in the car this morning, drove 25 miles to work, I was just hoisted upstairs now. It's covered in dust. Hasn't clogged up. Obviously, so I obviously haven't hooved vacuumed up the wrong things. So that's a bonus, I suppose. Um, if I can take this out. Oh, I just ripped it. Fiddlesticks. I'll fix it later, because that's just, that is just penned in. There is a bit of carbon dust already on the filters from the brand new motor. Oh, come on, now I've got to actually do something with it. But say, this will need a clean up. There we go, one side. Two sides, cool. those tabs are huge. So those big locking tabs. But all that did was just sit there anyway. And I do have a spare, remember? Because we had two, so we'll pop that back in now, because that's fine. There's no point in caring about that. What else? Well, the core rewind works. It is a little bit slow, but nothing too bad. Yeah, it's, it's mixed. The design makes it a really cumbersome thing to use, but it does work okay. And I can't, I'll be honest, after this month, I still can't say I would jump to own one. I might jump to save one, maybe, if it was very complete and very cheap. But I still just don't love it, really. And I should not be keeping it. Like I say, somebody did express an interest in it and they're more than welcome to have it for a very cheap price once I've cleaned it up a bit. But, yeah, personally not a massive fan, but at least I can say that my opinion is based on using it, not just my assumptions. So this is the outgoing. What's the incoming? Well, the vacuum that I'm going to be using for September is da, 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 an Electrolux Dolphin Z2230 from 1991. I've had this for so long. I've got many dolphins. I really must start selling some. So I thought I better use one. Now this 
is a little bit of a shame. I got this down from the loft a couple of days ago and it's been boxed up and it wasn't this faded when it went in there. The back door was, you can see the outline there. I do have another back door for it, but since it's been boxed away and this very hot summer we've had, all the rest of the plastic, which was quite white, is now faded. In fact, I don't know if the cameras are picking up, but the rewind pedal isn't faded. Everything else is. In fact, here we go. Look. I don't, I don't know if it's picking it up. My preview screen is so low resolution, but yeah, it is ever so faded. Poor thing, and that makes me worried about all my other machines. But there's always retro bright. This is why I haven't gone into retro brighting yet because I know it could be done. But because I can only store my machines in hot lofts because I have a choice, and I won't have a choice for a while. There's no point in denying it. There's just no point, I may as well leave it and do it once rather than, you know, doing it and then I'm doing it again in a few years. Or, you know, if I sell them, I'll start to knock the price down a bit and say, look, you need to retro buy it, have a fun project. But that's only cosmetic, so, meh, hey-ho. If we lift this up, we have to turn the machine off to open the tools. What have we got? We have actually quite a battered dusting brush in this one. I might sneakily go and get another one for another dolphin. Upholstery tool, it's missing one of its litter pickers, but it always was. And a, a, a nice little crevice tool, really. Inside we have a bag that I remember fitting when I first refurbished this, and it's had literally five minutes of use. So a genuine Electrolux bag. In fact, I wonder if it's a HEPA flow. Let's have a look in a minute. And the double filters, which I really don't want to take out because they take forever to stick back in on these. Let's just pop that down there. Here we have the blower port, that will come in handy. And the, again, brand new use for maybe 15 minutes. Post motor filter. I don't I haven't done many dolphin videos, have I? I, I wouldn't have done an last one this, don't we? I've got four that need to be done. So. We should have some dolphin action, shouldn't we? Because they are very, very nice. Tools wise, well, I, I, these aren't actually refurbished. I, 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 I must have just lobbed them in the box. So we have two very dirty and very faded extension ones. And a, a, a very dirty <laughs> floor brush with a very faded pedal. But hey ho, actually just, it's a bit stiff. I do have many of these though, so I'm not as fussed about that as I should be. And the hose, which is a hose. I, I do need to get a parking bracket, and I've got one in. Remember that load of brand new, well, that load of tools I got from Auto back with that brand new floor head? There is one in there, so I might pinch that so that I can make use of the parking bracket that this machine has. It's literally just a clip that goes onto the back of here. But there's the stopper for the clip there, so I'll grab that and do that as well. Right, well, since we're here, if I just fiddle around here, be very inspired by Mr. Hooverlux, who seems to hepa flow anything that breathes, I wonder, because here is the bag clip. And all the bag does on here is sit in, that bit sits in some clips at the bottom and that bit gets clipped behind this. But I'm wondering if it will happen for that. Hit well, and I'll tell you how. Well, if I take this off, this will be a lot easier. Those two dimples on either side of the bag inlet are for the black this to pivot on but they seem to be the perfect width for this to clip around so if I'm a bit careful oh in fact hang on we might be able to go even further because if I cut that there and this there Ow. 
Uh, let me just test the theory. Hang on, talk about what you said. Yes. Oh, it is. This bit here clips behind a body join. But I just need to make it a bit bigger. So we'll cut those off out of the way. See if my... Look, I could, these scissors aren't too bad. If you're watching this, Mummy, sorry I'm using your best scissors. These probably aren't your best scissors. Yeah, if we cut that down there... Oh, wow! There we jolly well go, folks. It's... Oh, I don't, oh. Yeah, it's just that top bit there. The base is superbly fitted. There you go. That, oh god, behind that joint there. But the top isn't. So, aha! If we get some tape, and again, if I can just flick that over, all I'm going to do is just tape this top bit. To the housing, if I use masking tape, it's not going to leave horrible residues, is it? Oh, that is acceptable. That is most agreeable, I think. I mean, it, go it goes over there, but I don't care. That is, that is heifer flow, folks. <laughs> Let's just see if we can get a bit over here, I mean it, it's fouling the bag door seal, but I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. That is HEPA flow! <laughs> How to HEPA flow an Electrolux Dolphin vacuum cleaner, obviously because we've removed this, the bag door shuts. So I'm just going to drop this in there, just so I don't lose it. So what, let me go closer, we'll plug it in and we'll turn it on. I think it still works. Here we are then, we'll start it off on now. So that slider takes it from, oh it doesn't say what the lowest speed is, this is before they care, it probably takes it from you know, very low to a thousand watts. When we push this button here that says 1200 watt super boost, it boosts it up to 1200 watts. Which is very nice indeed. Do like a nice dolphin. So I might try and keep them a little bit. Ooh, if I just back you off a tad, we'll test the suction. So we know it doesn't hold its oh it, it does just about hold its hose up. I can't call it sharp suction, but it's good suction. Obviously this is for the era where a vacuum cleaner just had to pick up dirt, really. Nobody cared if it had sharp, strong suction or ooh, anything else. Now these ones are a little bit bendy, as all plastic ones are, but they're much better than the Hoover ones, because obviously they've got slight strengthening pieces. And because I'm using it mostly on laminate, we should be all right. Picking up the Lovely actually, it's massive. 
not gonna fully lie there. Put that there without it ripping my lights down. Oh, cord rewind did work fine. It just... Nothing wrong with that. Oh, I'm quite looking forward to this. I think I should also set myself a goal now. I've got this one. One, two, I think oh, four, three or four before refurb. Do, do you want a dolphin for Fortnite? If I get me bum into gear, probably won't be this year now because I'm scheduled up to mid-November now. Obviously this has got a space saved. Um time I get them so maybe I should start doing them and maybe we should have a dolphin fortnight where I'll just put all the videos out because I do quite like these they're good vacuum cleaners they're strong they're sturdy I've got flipping loads of them I've done nothing with so maybe we should have a dolphin fortnight but for now I've got plenty of other things to be getting on with so for this video it's time to say goodbye and thank you very much for watching and as always, see you Tuesday. Bye-bye.